<laughs> it would be class. Okie doke. So we're going to look at, like I say, there's a few bits of drab news that we're going to talk about. Like, for example, Blade Runner 2029 or 2099 is getting a TV series via Amazon. Yeah. Because we can't take something like Blade Runner, which we love. I still say that the sequel was well done and, and you know, it respected the IP. But now Amazon have got hold of it. And so that's over. Yeah, that's the end of that. Keeled. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like you got lucky the first belated, you know, 30 year out sequel. You really got lucky. But, yeah. you know, you're pushing it and you know it's not going to be good. But I don't know. I mean, it, there's been a few things here and there. You know, like we said, hey, Top Gun, I think, started no, no, out. It, we got Picard yeah, Season but, 3 is good. But I don't know. Ridley Squat has his hand in it, though. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, I know, a, that's a red I know. flag. That's, that's a, a big, real big did, flag. Did he have his hand in 2049? But I think, but like, exa- yeah, but not like directly, I don't think. I mean, I Executive think, producer, which yeah. is just send me a fucking check. Yeah, yeah. something like that. I mean, I mean Bill clearly. Does- Clearly, you know, the last one is, uh, uh, you know, D- Denny, what's, how do you, what's his, no, Denny Villeneuve. Say, yeah, yeah, Villeneuve. Villeneuve. That, Villeneuve. I mean, that guy is a singular, you know, artist, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just everything about it says Denny Villeneuve and not he, he really is un- He is underrated, in my opinion. He I think, really I think, is, uh, yeah. what's a, what's the guy's name that does, uh, the Batman movies? He's coming out with Nolan, Chris Opera. Nolan. Christopher oh, Nolan, he yeah. he is he is like, and he's he's a good filmmaker. Don't get me wrong, I like his stuff, but I think Villeneuve does a better job. He does, yeah. He's got he a better. The, I was gonna say he respects the original property if he's doing something like Blade Runner. He does, and he's got a better eye for like actual cinema. Like, man, his stuff look, looks cinematic. Nolan, I'm looking forward fine. to Dune too. Me too, yeah. man. Me too. Anybody that hates on Denny Villeneuve can eat a dick as far as i'm concerned <laughs> well i was i mean you said he's got an eye it's like that's a special effects heavy movie and yeah. that was the most realistic looking yeah. it never looked like an effect to me i was so shocked at how well done which one you talk was dune, dune one. Runner. Oh yeah, dune, yeah well blade runner too really yeah, blade runner mm-hmm. yeah uh again like i say he's he's one of those people that has got He's just, he's got a good eye for detail. I do think with comparing him to Nolan is a bit different because I think Nolan is kind of one of those people that's, he's now getting to the point where he's so sort of pretentious. He's stuck up his own arse. He is too pretentious for my taste. Yeah. That's, yeah. I've gone back he's and got- watched a few of his films, but like Tenant, I can't, I've, I've watched that twice and I still. Eh. It's a mess. God, yeah. if, you think, if you think that's pretentious, you should check out him and his brother's work on that West world. On HBO now that you talk about oh, pretentious, yeah. good God Almighty! That that is that, like the that could be the trope identifier for the term pretentious, you know? Westworld. <laughs> I'll just look it up yeah. in the dictionary. Watch Westworld. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that show really that that show had so much promise after the first season and just went off the rails for the second did, season. Yeah. I think I gave up after the first season, which is nice. I watched the second season, and then after that, I was like, "This is no." It looked like I, I something, think, it, you know, actually, now that I think about it, it, it has a lot of like themes that Ridley Squat probably was like, man. oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> like jerking all over I, himself about. I don't feel like Nolan's ever gone incompetent. Like his movies are still very watchable. Even oh, Tenet, yeah, yeah. as a mess it yeah. is, it's still very watchable. I kind of put him like Tarantino that way. Like he has, it's a Nolan movie, just like, you know, it's a Tarantino movie, right? Yeah. Mm. But he is gotten to a point where there's too many. It's like the George Lucas syndrome. It's like everybody just scared around him because that's Christian yeah. Nolan, you know. So yeah. nobody's telling him, "Dude, that that fucking sucks. You gotta take this up." <laughs> yeah, just make a romantic comedy. Just just one. Just a nice romantic yeah, comedy. <laughs> remake Harry Met Sally. Oh yeah. yeah. He, no no. He should remake something like um um. Damn it. What's the one with uh, Tommy Al Pac- the T Rex? Nailed it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can't... it's time to close it up. It ain't gonna get any yeah, better than that. No. <laughs> that was just one good line for the year. Yeah. It's, yeah, only, it's March, only March, man. It's only March. Give me a chance. Yeah, I you're always, fucked. I always hate the fact that when some movies come out in January and February, and it's like Empire called this film of the year, and it's like, 
How can you say that? You know, there's like 10 well, months left to go, you know? So far, so far. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose. Well, yeah, you should add to, that, you know. So, um, to be fair, Everything Everywhere All at Once came out in March. <laughs> Uh, next weekend, the new John Wick movie comes out, which I will be going to see in the theater. Ooh, actually, even. yeah, no, that is true. I'm, I, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go and see it in the cinema. Speaking um, of uh, movies of the year, Leanne went and saw um, um, the new Scream movie last weekend, and she rated it pretty high. You know, my daughter did well, and this was the same girl who said Avatar Two was absolute garbage. So I'm kind of like. Mm. I really don't Shoot care him. about the screen franchise anymore. I, I don't either, oh. but I'll wait till it comes out digital. But it's um, I bet Cecil I'm, I'm liked it. Though. Interesting things. I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh, like I say, I'm... They said they were going to be different. Maybe they really pulled it off. Thank you for watching this excerpt from Outpost Frequencies. Tune in live every Sunday at noon Central Time or six o'clock UK time. And also, remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news, streaming news, and everything cool about film. We are the cool news now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next stream.